Hello everyone, it's Vegan Cheetah for you. Most destructive aspect about my addiction is spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that I have either made or I have stolen. I am a convicted felon and I'm on felony probation as a result of my addiction. Now that being said, I don't ever think of myself as a bad person. It's, it's an interesting thing to ponder. Um, you know, like I said, I have a lot of character defects. I'm a very ungrateful person. I'm a very selfish person. Right? I go through mental relapses almost every single day where it's like, eh, no, Charlie, you need to like check your thinking here and start redirecting your thoughts somewhere else. I have no fucking idea. Vegans can get on their salty fucking knees and suck my cock! And his family because they've been so good to me and I'm gonna literally bend him over this fucking desk right here and I'm gonna fuck him in the ass until he calls me daddy. Because I can fuck her in the ass 24 seven, I'm gonna make her my sub, I'm gonna dominate over her, I'm gonna dom dominate her anal cavity every single night and by the time she's 45 years old, she's gonna be shitting in a diaper. The chances that I'll never do that again are, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't even go there. I have severe flaws in my personality. I'm a very ungrateful person. I'm a very selfish person. That I have this little trick where I could trick people to get the long story. Vegan Cheetah is someone who I respect and who I think is brilliant and very funny and quick-witted. For the most part, are complete fucking degenerates. And they're psychotic. And they're scam artists. And what they do is they get on YouTube and they sell you a bunch of fucking lies. And he was very good for business. I don't normally talk about that specific crime. I've been arrested, I don't know, maybe 20 times in my life. And if it weren't for the fact that I'm on felony probation, I don't know, man. I, I feel like it's a huge motivational factor in my recovery, the fact that if I wasn't on felony probation, I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, it's, it's an interesting thing to ponder. Right? I go through mental relapses almost every single day where it's like, eh, no, Charlie, you need to like check your thinking here and start redirecting your thoughts somewhere else. I have a lot of character defects. I'm a very ungrateful person. I'm a very selfish person. Get I would get right up in between those butt cheeks. And I have this little trick where I could trick people to get it's a long story. Normal. I'm a businessman. I'm trying to run a business. I, we shouldn't even go there. I have severe flaws in my personality. I'm a very ungrateful person. I'm a very selfish person. That were kind of like uh, precursors to my addiction. And it's something I'll be struggling with the rest of my life. So the last point I want to make in this video is that when I found veganism, I was in early... Vegan cheetah. He's not vegan. All right, this is a screen grab I just got of one of his vlogs where he ate, he says he accidentally ate cheese. So I want you to notice that this sandwich has not been eaten yet. All right, it is untouched and you can see that there is melted cheese sprinkled on top of this damn sandwich. All right, there's no accident when you admit that there's cheese on it and then you consume it and you try to say that you're vegan. All right, the hypocrisy is fucking astounding, all right? And I'm really pissed off that this keeps perpetuating and going on and on, and everybody seems to think that it's okay that Charles calls himself a vegan, yet he eats cheese, yet he buys fucking chicken ramen noodles. It's bullshit, people. Wake the hell up. Look right there for yourself. There's cheese. Watch the damn video. You judge for yourself. Don't make the reality that you want to see. Realize what's in front of your eyes and wake the hell up. That's damn cheese. He chooses to eat it. You don't choose an accident. How is it so far? Wonderful. Wonderful? Can I try one of your chips? Thanks, bro. Happy birthday. Oh, is that cheese on the bread? It looks like cheese. We're just gonna pretend it's not there. I have this little trick where I could trick people to get 
then it's a long story. And there's that part of me that really does want to use still. You know, there's a part of me every single day because it gives me a higher purpose. So if your counselors or your sponsors or whatever are telling you, listen, you need to find a higher power, you need to get connected with God, you know, that could mean whatever you want it to mean. For me, it meant, you know, getting in the gym, you know, continuing what I was doing when I was in jail. I'm a businessman. I'm trying to run a business. And yes, my addiction has translated into the more positive aspects of my life because yeah. But I feel like in the moment that is meaningless to even mented with an idea. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm never gonna use drugs again, but I'm clean today and if you wanna eat shit in a bucket, maybe that's fine. I'm just a social media personality. Calling my name right, I really don't care what they say about me, to be honest with you. So ethical vegans can get on their salty fucking knees and suck my cock! But when we first opened our website, VegSource, which was a series of discussion boards, there was a character who showed up and came in to insult people. His name was Colonel Beefeater. And he would come in and tangle with the vegans, and the vegans really hated him, and he ramped people up. Colonel Beefeater was really actually a lot of fun, and he was very good for business in terms of views. And now I'm going to reveal the identity of Colonel Beefeater 20 years later. I'm going to take him to Chick-fil-A and I'm going to buy him a chicken dinner. Talking to Jeff back and forth for a while now and we've he's really helped me a lot. So it's been like a collaborative effort between me and him, which is cool. You know, like he didn't mind kind of reading what I had and taking a look at it and you know, adding a few things here and there, like a few topics that I could could discuss.